Good day and welcome back to Chemistry Videos. My name is Clarissa Sorensen Unruh and today we're going to be talking about aromaticity. Aromaticity is really interesting and the reason why it's very interesting is because it is the organic chemist's equivalent of something like a noble gas. It's really stable this, these aromatic molecules are really stable just as they are. And so that makes it very interesting to organic chemists. The most common aromatic model that we tend to think about is benzene. All right, benzene is a common name. And there are several common names that you're gonna need to know about. Let me get a different blue here. Benzene is the first. Right, um, benzene is often drawn like this. Um, there was a rule, there's, uh, actually there's a rule that was made up by uh, Kugel. Um, and maybe it's not a rule, but a guideline. Basically what he saw is that just to be able to say this was just as easy as saying that because you're just alternating single and double bonds in this aromatic molecule. And in fact, most often what's drawn for benzene is a combination of the two where it has a circle in the middle. Now, what is this really talking about? Well, what this is, this is why this rule is so interesting. Kugel's rule is that really what he was saying is that in fact, when you draw out the conjugated dienes, for the aromatic molecule, you have a pi or pi overlap. Okay, so we have p orbitals that exist. Maybe if my double bonds exist just like this, right? My p orbitals that overlap to make that pi bond are, in fact, kind of looking. They're uh, perpendicular to the flatness of the uh, molecule which benzene is a flat molecule. And in that case, basically what you do is you have overlap, not only along the lines of the lines you've drawn, but all the way around the molecule, just like with conjugated dienes, right? So with conjugated dienes, you had overlap of the pi system because of this alternating single and double bond idea. And in fact, you have overlap on the top lobes and overlap with the bottom lobes. So having said that, there's like two circles kind of within the system. That's where the circle comes from. Okay, so that's what makes this particularly stable. It also is what makes it flat because these p orbitals have to be oriented in such a way that they are able to overlap. Okay, so they're basically along the y axes of this molecule, which you would assume is kind of in the x axis. Okay, so having said that, this is benzene. It is the, by far the most known of the aromatic molecules. Aromatic, by the way, or aromaticity, does not denote anywhere in the name that it has conjugated uh, pi overlap or conjugated, it's a conjugated diene in any way. But it does have this idea that it has the word aroma within it, right? So where did the word aromaticity come from? It really came from the fact that several aromatic molecules um, were part of what made up smelly agents, right? Perfumes, uh, colognes, that kind of thing. It also is what make, uh, aromatic molecules make up a lot of flavors like vanilla and such. So that's why it's called aromatic. Okay, so benzene is, of course, a common name. If I were going to name this in my regular way, I would number it first, right? And this would, in fact, be called 1,3,5-cyclohexatriene. Or you could call it cyclohexa-1,3,5-triene meaning three, ene meaning double bonds, okay? There are several common names that you're gonna need to know. Um, there's a whole list of them in your book. Okay, we'll talk about some of these here. For instance, 
Here's toluene. It has uh, a single methyl group coming off of it. OH is a phenol. You have something like that with a conjugated double bond. That's styrene. Right. Ooh. These are all benzene rings, right? With an NH2, I believe is called anisole. No, aniline. Aniline. I have to write all these out on a piece of paper. That's what I'm looking at. Um, anisole is actually, oh, oh, it's a methoxy group coming off of it. There you go. So that's anisole. Okay, there's several common names that you should probably know something about. Okay, and that's really the first thing to know about aromaticity. The extraordinary stability that happens with the overlapping pi system. Okay, so overlapping p orbitals that happen from um, this uh, conjugated diene, which means alternating single and double bonds, that we usually draw it like this, and that there are several different molecules that are benzene or benzene derivatives, that's what all of these are, that you have to know something about the common name for in order to understand how they're named. Okay, it's kind of like water. We like to call in chemistry water dihydrogen monoxide, but no one else does, so we tend to go with the water piece, okay? All right, next time we'll talk about how we figure out when things are particularly stable, and if all alternating single and double bonds are by definition stable and therefore aromatic, and we'll go on to talk about all kinds of other things that deal with aromatic. Okay, so Huckel's rule and such are coming up in later installments of these videos. Until I see you then, adieu.